question. He don't, he don't never have to question. He don't want to question everybody's loyalty. But where is his loyalty at? But he want to talk about me when I am not doing. He want to talk about me when I'm not doing. Uh, talk about unnecessary. Then he talking about calling the police. Talk about I'm gonna get my stuff. But you got four kids and a wife. It's seven thirty six. He can't even be. He can't even come here and cook for these kids. He can't even come here and cook for the kids. He got to be at work at eight o'clock. Nah, matter of fact, he got to be at work at nine. Okay, but well, he still got time to cook for these kids. And then he got to go pick up his. He got to go pick up his buddy from. From from his job, law. Well, he need to tell law. He need to find get his mama car and go to work. He 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 pick up his brother law, take him to work, back like and forth said, every day. I, I ain't got nothing. To but then, nobody helping nobody. But if law, but he can't put gas in both cars. That's what I'm saying. If law ain't getting him no gas money to go to work, talk about people got stuff. Okay, well then he wanna he wanna put it like that. Oh, I got stuff to do too. I'm over here. I got stuff to do too. I'm over here. I'm over here. Yeah, what you on the phone with? Uncle, what's up? Uncle, what's up? 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 Give me my phone, bro. Don't, don't what is the money. conversation you want to have? What the conversation? Get out of my he phone. said, what's the don't conversation? Touch don't touch me. I call the police over here. Don't do not touch me. He said, what's the conversation y'all want to have? Get out of me. What's, what's the conversation you want to have? Oh, I'm going to send that. Don't get you touch me, please. Yeah, I ain't nobody touch you. I'm going to send my cousin over here. Do not touch me, Don't bro. Don't have nobody over here. Oh, baby. Tell your daughter to keep her hands on What is the conversation? Tell your daughter to keep her hands on me. Uh -huh. You don't want to slap me. You don't want to slap me. Hit keep me now. Nah. Hit me now. Nah. Keep your hands on me. What's up, bro? I'm still asking what is the conversation. I'm oh, man. I'm oh, man. That's what I'm finna do. I'm, I'm finna get out. I ain't really trying to hide anyway. Oh, I'm just trying to get out. No, no. You want to go tell your family about this and about that. You want to do this. I'm trying to leave from over here and pee, man. I ain't trying to argue at all. Ain't nobody. Let me take my car key off. Stop. 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 Yeah. Stop. 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 Don't touch me, bro. What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about a live stream or a story, and I ended up going to see the live stream, of this woman here on the screen. Her name is Kadasia Michelle Brown. She decided to shoot her husband because he wanted to leave the house and he did not want to be confrontational with her. And she live streamed herself on Facebook live, having an altercation with this man, putting her hands on this man, calling him names. She picked up a weapon. She's taunting him with it. And then she ended up pulling the trigger. Now, apparently she's claiming that it was on accident. No, it wasn't. Um, you have to squeeze the trigger in order for it to go off. This woman was so emotional. She was so emotional that she not only wanted to get into a verbal argument with a guy that just wanted to go to work, he didn't want to be there at that moment at that moment, but she just had to argue with him because she is a dysfunctional idiot. And we have a lot of these women in the melanated community. This is the majority of women always wanting to argue, always wanting to fight. And they wonder why black men don't want relationships. <laughs> don't want relationships because we got to come home to this. Now, I don't know the reason as for it is to fight, but it seems like it was probably something that had been built up. The fact that this woman knows that this guy did not want to argue with her and she kept trying to argue with him put her hands on him this is a woman that has self has self-esteem issues and she has 
can you know she has control issues this is a woman who probably has deeply rooted issues that she never really got over and because she never got over those deeply rooted issues it manifests itself into this relationship into this marriage because she was married to this man this all this man wanted to do was go to work but she could not allow that because she just had to argue with him because it's therapy arguing is therapy to these dysfunctional women these dysfunctional women like Kadeja, their therapy is to argue with the men that they claim to be in love with. It's different if you're arguing with a guy that you don't know, but they're arguing with men that they claim that they love. How do you argue with a man that you claim that you love? It is because you are not capable of love. Kadeja is not capable of love. You have four children by this man. What are those children going to do, Kadeja? What those kids going to do? Those kids were crying when you decided to pull that trigger and take this man's life. Now they don't have a father or a mother because of you and your emotions. This is why I tell y'all women will never make good leaders. They always get in their emotions and their feelings, and they always want to fight and cause drama. That's why they love reality TV. You see it right here on YouTube, women flocking to pay, to channels where there's nothing but drama. A bunch of 30, 40 something year old women who still think they're in high school. She chose to do this. And I think that she should be able to be punished to the full extent of the law. Uh, this man was a father. You go to his Facebook page. And. He has a, a lot of pictures with his kids, 28 years old, 28 years old. She's 28. He's 28. Her life is over. She ain't getting out of this. Not only did she brandish a weapon, she threatened to do something with it. These are the type of women that us as men got to deal with. And that's why we stay single or we go overseas because the majority of black relationships are just like this. Tell me that I am not speaking the truth. Tell me that the majority of black relationships aren't that the majority of black relationships um, don't mirror this because they do. They do. And we have a lot of deeply rooted issues as black people. But these women, you could tell they took it the hardest. They have. This is your husband. And you you can't even let him leave the house to go to work. You want to sit up there and argue with him because he's the arguing is therapy to you. Because to you, you want a punching bag. And that's what he was to you. I would not doubt that they've had these type of arguments before. And I heard in the in the video, and I'm I probably have a clip at the beginning. If if you don't see the clip, I'll I'll see about linking in the description box. You can tell that they've had these type of situations before. And the sad part was that not only was the children there, but her mother was there, and her mother didn't help the situation at all. Maybe her mother knows she's crazy. Those children had to watch as this dysfunctional moron picked up a weapon. Not only was she putting hands on this guy, but she picked up a weapon and decided to shoot him. See, in order for you to hit somebody, uh, you know, to shoot them, you have to aim it at them. She aimed it at him and she pulled, she squeezed the trigger. You don't do that by accident. That wasn't an accident. That was you getting in your feelings and you just couldn't, you just couldn't take it anymore. You couldn't take it anymore. You just had to do it. You just had to do it. Now he's gone and you're in jail. Now your children are going to grow up without neither one of you. And that is the saddest part about this. These heifers don't care anything about their kids because if she cared about her kids, she wouldn't have done this in the first place. So let's get a little bit more details on this disgusting story that happened, I believe, last night. Or, or not last night, excuse me, it happened 
yesterday morning, I believe. So according to the Sea Dispatch, a Louds County woman is accused of taking her life for her husband Saturday morning during an argument that was being streamed on Facebook. Let me just say this too. How many people have lost their life on Facebook? How come Facebook Live haven't instituted new you know, regulations after all these people have lost their lives on Facebook Live? But no, you want to go out, go after platforms that have a different political opinion. That's your main concern, not the fact that people are using your platform to air out these situations and cause damage to each other. Kadeja Michelle Brown, who's 28, is charged with taking his life. Sheriff Eddie Hawkins said deputies responded to a domestic violence call at the 500 Green Tree Drive about 740 a.m. Hawkins said when they arrived, they found a male victim uh, deceased of a single gunshot wound. Louds County Coroner Greg Merchant identified the deceased as Jeremy Brown, who was 28. A resident at the home, Hawkins confirmed the victim was the suspect's husband. You know, one thing that she said in the video, she said that you can't take anything out of her house. So apparently he, she, she, it, the, the apartment was probably in her name, right? Even though he worked, I'm pretty sure he brought money into the house, into the apartment. But she was making it seem like that was her place and that was her things. When you're, see, this is why a lot of you men got to be careful when you're dealing with women who want you to live with them, who buy you things, they're going to throw it back in your face. You need to avoid women who are eager to have you live with them and buy you things because, again, they're going to use that against you. Kadeja allegedly streamed at least part of the argument on Facebook Live. Hawkins said only the audio part of the incident went on Facebook. The phone had been thrown down and then you heard the shot. Hawkins said Brown is in custody at the Lowes County Adult Detention Center. Hawkins said bond has not been yet set. There is a history of domestic violence between Brown and the victim. Hawkins said this was a tragic, senseless crime and our thoughts and prayers go out to the family. My thoughts and prayers go out to the children because they're going to suffer the most from this. They're going to have to grow up without a father and a mother. But, you know, we've seen it where these women are able to weasel their way out of spending a lot of time in prison. But this woman live streamed her crime. There's no way of getting out of this. Not only was this woman putting her hands on this man. She pointed a weapon at him and pulled the trigger and she even made threats to do so. There's no way out for her in this situation. This woman should be in jail for the rest of her life. This could have been completely avoidable. All this man wants to do is go to work and bring money back into the to the home for the family to take care of those children. And all this heifer wanted to do was argue and fuss and fight. This is the majority of melanated women. Tell me I'm wrong. That This is the majority of these heifers. And they wonder why they cannot keep a man. Because y'all are dysfunctional and all you want to do is argue because instead of you getting therapy for your issues, you want to take it out on the man that actually cares about you and wants to be with you. That's what you do. You take out your frustrations on the guy that actually care about you instead of actually going to therapy and getting help for whatever issues you have. Because clearly this woman has issues that she that she has neglected to address because to her, she ain't the problem. And now this man's gone. This this to me is the one of the most senseless things I have ever seen. All he wanted to do was go to work. And she wanted to argue because she she's in mental pain. So she got to take that out on somebody and she's going to take it out on him. That's what this tells me. Now, people are going to have their theories and rumors. I don't give a shit. I don't care about your theories and your rumors. We want to talk about facts. And the facts are that this woman took this guy's life for absolutely no reason. This shouldn't have happened. Y'all could try to sugarcoat it all you want to. I've seen people trying to defend her. There's no defense for this. You go look at the you go look at the uh the live stream for yourself. It's a it's sad. This shouldn't have happened. There's no reason 
why this should have happened. Absolutely none. There's no excuse for this. Y'all could try to come up with as many excuses and theories. This woman was the instigator. She was the agitator. This happened because of her. This man wanted to leave and go to work. She couldn't have that because, again, she needs a punching bag. This woman has issues that she should have addressed a long time ago, and she never did because she's a mentally unstable mother of four children. All she cared about is winning an argument. That's all she cares about. I don't even think she loved this man. He was the only man that was that actually wanted to be with her and love her. And women like this, they 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 don't they don't respect that. They don't care about being loved. They want to pick and choose who they love. They end up, you know, a lot of women like this end up loving the wrong type of men. And that's all they used to, man. That's all they used to. So let me see in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see y'all in the next one.